What's up guys, welcome back to another video. This is gonna be a short, quick video explaining how I incorporate shoes into my animation without getting any issues. So the, the biggest thing when it comes to adding shoes into Chloe or Marvelous is once you've added it in, it starts to do like this weird thing around the shoe. This is mainly because the shoe has a high poly count and there's a lot of sharp edges which it can get stuck on. So how to solve this issue is very simple. We're going to go into Blender. What you want to do is essentially you need to create some sort of protection for the shoe so that when the garment falls on the shoe, it doesn't actually fall directly on the shoe. It falls on like this, this softer mesh that's more rounded and has no sharp edges. So you can see there is a little bit of issues here, but it, it doesn't get caught, which is kind of what you need. You don't want it to get caught at all. We can start with our T-pose. So this is my guy. I'm just gonna put him into T-pose, resting position. And what you wanna do is create a box mesh. So from the box mesh, I normally just start with something like this. I'm just gonna hide these two for now. Just start with a, a cube, scale it down, bring it up. And you, you want to make it like fit as close as possible. Quite a easy process to do. Once you've set this up, you're kind of good to go. I'll create a few subdivisions on both axes. And then I'll kind of just start repositioning this using the proportional editor. I'll just start bringing it down and make it fit as close to the shoe as possible now this is just a quick run through i'm not going into heavy detail um, so let's go to the front view let's change this we're gonna bring this to the middle and then let's just clear that and just like you did on the side view you can just start editing it so that it fits a little bit closer and then we also need to and then we also need to just add some subdivisions from the front view normally i'd like two um, and then you're pretty much good to go from that side so once we're happy with that we can add a subdivision modifier now obviously the more detail or the the better you get at this and the closer you make it to the shoe the better um, so if you look at my right shoe that's kind of like once you've finessed it a bit you can also add a shrink wrap modifier um, and then you just click on your shoe and it kind of makes a better version for you once that's done you can shade smooth once you're happy with that you now need to pair it to the animation now it doesn't have to be perfect so i'm just going to hide this and make sure my armature is visible now to pair it to your armature you want to click on your shoe and then your armature go into your pose mode and then make sure it's your viewport display is in front and we're just going to click on this bottom bone here we can then press ctrl p to pairing it to the bone and then when we go into our pose position you'll see that it's it's pretty much aligned perfectly now just to tweak it a little bit because you obviously don't want it to touch that we can just go into edit mode and then just bring this out a little bit until we're happy with it you kind of only really want the top of the shoe as, as well as around the legs just so that uh, there's no um, catching there and then you'll see once you're happy with that you can just do a playthrough um, and just make sure that everything is good. If we hide this and we go into my final product, you can see that the the cube is covering the shoe, most of the parts at the top, which is what you need. And then once you've imported it into Clo, you do the exact same thing as you would um, normally. You can see that when I am um, when I am simulating it around the shoes, nothing's getting caught. There's no interruptions. It's looking really good. Um, and when you run an animation, it should pretty much be perfect. There will always be a little bit of issues, but they're not really too easy to see. As you can see, once you bring it back into Blender, uh, there is a little bit of a lift off on the shoe, but it's not so drastic. Here's a video of the final render. You can hardly even notice it. If this video was helpful to you, please make sure to drop a sub. I'd really appreciate it. Um, and I'm going to be dropping a mock-up of this video that I just showed you if you'd like to purchase on my store Make sure to just check around and turn the notification bell on so you can see how I created it and how to use it in my next video As always appreciate the support and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace